What's up guys, how's it going? Hey, so I wanted to show you something that I put together with the um, shader graph. So basically what I wanted was um, something like a cloud was I'm gonna use for this example, where you'd have something float up and down. It looks like it's kind of floating. Maybe it could be something in the water or something along those lines, but in, in this instance, using a cloud. So it kind of floats up and down real quick or real slow. And I wanted to use it using sign time. Um, because you get the nice smooth transition going back and forth. The problem with that is though, um, if you use the default, like here you have it a little bit more, got to get an idea what's going here. So you have floating cloud going up and down, up and down. But as it is, if you take it out of that, uh, the divide, which you need to divide the, the sign time by, you get this cool, nice, smooth transition back and forth. But the problem is, it's always the same distance. So your sine wave is going, you know, up, then it kind of peaks there, and it kind of comes back down, and that's your sine wave. And uh, that's cool and everything. But what if you want some c control over that? What if you want to make it only go, you know, a very small distance, right, like right here, so you get a nice floaty effect? Um, well, you need to unplug it out of that and you plug it into your divide um, and then you go plug it back into your multi uh, yeah you multiply so i'll kind of go through explain what i was doing here so as you, as you see as i just said i wanted a floaty cloud using the sign time so i just right clicked uh, and created all these nodes um, <laughs> come on and so i created sample texture tying offset which we worked with in the previous tutorials and then multiply, which um, we will do with the multiply to offset the the distance traveled, or it would be like the speed as well. And then um, the sign time, which we divide. So just kind of break that down for you real quick. Uh, go over here. What it looks like, we'll just say one is out of the box and then one. So you have this, this is what it'd be this is what it would look like if you didn't have the um, divide node in right here. So, okay, that's cool and all, but let's say I want it to float up and down just in the plane here. Well, you can start playing the values here. These properties, the divide offset value, don't even worry about the speculator right now. That's not relevant for this. Um, which were created right here in the blackboard. So then you hit save asset and you get your properties will show up over here. So that's cool. So divide, well, what happens if you start moving that up? Now we're dividing the sine wave. Let's just cut it in half. So now the sine is half was what it was before. It's traveling half, as you can see, no big deal. Well, let's do it again. Now it's pretty cool because we're getting the distance traveled is even less. So we're getting a smaller or a shorter sine wave. Divide it again. Now it's getting pretty good. And for, just say, for this particular project, we wanted to keep it in the plane or whatever, or, you know, um, just keep dividing it. 50 looks pretty good. Might come out a little bit. You probably wouldn't work with that, but let's, mm, let's just go to 70, say. So now you get a nice, slow, floaty effect. And then if the Y, the offset, what if you just want to pump it up a little bit? Like that, then you have to divide this even more. Let's put this down to actually. All this is pretty much gonna just keep it in the um, in the box. So that's pretty good. And what's cool about this, obviously, you can play with it real time and get a, a feeling for what you want. To, um, to do. Anyways, just going through it again. Um, I just went through and right clicked, create node. Uh, I started with um, the the time, so right click time, and then I made a property over here. And create vector one, vector two. The property was divide, so I used a vector one for that because I only needed one um, value, and then the offset. Um, for X and Y, you need two values for the X and Y, as you can see right here. If you wanted to go um, on across the X, you can change that. 
and then you want to play with the Y again, and you get something like that. And if that's the effect you want to go for, that's fine. Again, this can be used for anything. I'm just trying to give you something to uh, visualize it with, and we'll take that back out. And then it's going off the screen again, so bump that back down to 2 or whatever it was, 2.5 maybe. And uh, see, the more you divide it, it's going to get way slower. Well, now it's barely even moving. So kind of scroll that down. And try to get the image to clip, the cloud to clip. That, that cloud actually took about seven hours of work. Um, it was made in Illustrator, then I brought it with Photoshop. I mean, that's just what you do, isn't it? So anyways, um, and then you got your specular, which um, it comes out. Uh, I specular, I used just to kind of check out the slider, haven't used a slider before. Put a minimum, negative one, max one, and then I think it's set at zero right now, so you can kind of see this specular kind of come in and out. It might a little bit better in 3D. I get some something going there. Make it specular, and I was just kind of experimenting, experimenting with that because I didn't want a shiny looking shader like that. Anyways, that's about it. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos about the tiling offset multiply to uh, get it to move transition back and forth. Check out the other videos previously. I think the first one we go over that and then it moves on a little bit. Anyways, so I got my, my fluffy white cloud here, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, just changing the the sign time and dividing it and then using it in the inspector to uh, season to taste as the saying goes. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you got some of it, smash the heck out of the like button, tap it or whatever. Um, sub up and that'd be cool and ring the ding if you got a chance and uh, we'll catch you next time guys thanks for watching I appreciate it and happy coding happy shading see ya